Welcome to uh, Monster Hunter World. Wait a second. There we go. Okay, cool. Who's <laughs> in windowed mode? Um, anyway, uh, let me see if I can uh, pull that cool little cinematic up again. Wait, where are we? As you can tell, I'm new to the game. I've played for a couple of hours, but oh, I'm in the gathering area. Well, I meant to go to the trade yard. That's why I'm so confused. Anyway, uh, welcome, guys. I'm going to go back to the gathering area because that was actually pretty cool. So this is the PC version of the game. Camp Capcom uh, sent me an early access version of uh, the PC version, and it's playing pretty well. I'm going to go into my system specs in just a second, but first, check this out. We're going to look at some of the graphics here before we actually get started. Anyway... Welcome, guys. I hope your Saturday's going well. My Saturday's going pretty well, and... Alright, cool. Great, everything's hooked up and ready to go. Oh, damn it, it's not gonna show it again. Well, that's a shame. Welcome to Monster Hunter World. This is the PC version of the game. Capcom was cool enough to send me an early access copy. I've played for a couple of hours. And uh, they also sent me a care package full of gear to hunt monsters with. But yeah, it, it runs really well. Well, not quite as well as I would have expected. It's it's a good looking game in that the art style is gorgeous. It's It's a really unique looking game. Uh, also, they sent me a custom headset as part of the care package, which was pretty cool. It's got the, uh... Oh, I've actually never played Monster Hunter World before. Well, I've never played Monster Hunter, period. So, uh... This is, this is all pretty new to me. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I actually, ASK. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you remembered uh, what I'm trying to do. But uh, yeah, I actually have my first uh, voice acting gig that I'm doing right now. Well, not right now. I actually finished my lines a couple days ago and I sent it in for uh, the first uh, revision of sound editing and compiling and all that stuff so that's exciting Ooh, that looks cool this is, this is, a, this is a very pretty game um, it's got a great art style but yeah I'm uh, I'm really excited about it it's it's a lot of fun I really do enjoy voice acting up until now I've mainly done commercials but uh, yeah I'm really excited about that anyway welcome to Monster Hunter World um, I should start this stream by saying that Capcom sent me this uh, PC version of the game. That's how I'm playing it a couple of days early. This actually comes out on the 9th. And I have been playing for a couple of hours, and performance is really solid. I'm running the game at 2K. Everything's on the highest settings. It doesn't quite look like it's on the highest settings, but that's because they wanted uh, Monster Hunter World to be consistent across all platforms. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox One X... PC, PS4 Pro, um, anyway, aside from that, I'm getting about a solid 75 to 85 FPS, no matter what I'm doing in the game, at a resolution of 1440p, but my rig is pretty beefy, I've got a GTX 1080 Ti overclocked, I've got, um, an i9-7900X also overclocked to, uh, uh, 4.6 gigahertz. I've got 32 gigabytes of very fast RAM with great timing, and yeah, I'm getting about 83 uh, FPS, which I would think would be a little higher. I can get 120 FPS pretty easily in, in a game like Battlefield 1, and this game's art style is absolutely gorgeous, but the graphics don't seem like they would be that demanding. Um, especially with a 1080 Ti that's overclocked as much as mine is, but it's it's still a, a really solid uh, um, PC port. It's 
it, it performs really well and it's uh, really smooth. I haven't had any stuttering. I haven't had any weird glitches or issues, and the game isn't even launched yet, so it may even have uh, a, a day one patch uh, or a day one NVIDIA driver. But yeah, it's it's a cool game. I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. I've got a pretty ridiculous weapon. This thing is enormous. But let's actually um, uh, go off on a go off on a mission. Let's see. I think I need to go to the canteen, but Monster Hunter is. A very unique game this is a game that you can easily spend hundreds of hours in I think if if you're a completionist the game's about 300 hours long if, if you just want to complete the main uh, quests and the main story the game is about 93 hours long anyway you also got cats so this is my little buddy right here Eddie he's he's pretty cute he helps me along with uh, my missions and he even distracts the monsters while I wail on him with this enormous axe sword it's it's actually both but this is my first monster hunter so it's it's really interesting uh, diving in apparently monster hunter world is the best place to start if you haven't played any other monster hunters you don't need to go back and play those before you play this but let's get on our quest I'm gonna try not to uh, talk during any cutscenes or anything like that but this is kind of like an MMO as an outsider that hasn't played Monster Hunter before, it, it kind of feels like a like a MMO that you can play single player if you want to, but they recommend that you play it with your friends, which you can meet online because this game has an extremely large and dedicated fan base, and you can always find people to play with. You can go on Reddit or the Monster Hunter forums and find people to group up with if you don't have any friends that own the game. Hey there, partner. All right, partner, time for us to do a little pookie pookie hunting. <laughs> the pookie pookie is, is a, it looks like a hybrid between an enormous gigantic monster parrot and a chameleon. It's got a chameleon tongue. It's very freaky. Anyway, it'll, it'll be fun. Once we've done that, the scholars can go in and check out that slag. See if it came from the Zora Magdaros. That's one of the dragons that we're pursuing, if I remember correctly. But seriously, what other monster could it have come from? I mean, I'm no scholar, but smoldering lava rock? Hello? Okay. We're uh, also a bit of a monster detective. So the basic plot of the game is um, every X amount of years, the Elder Dragons migrate to the New World. And that's where we are right now. We're in the new world. It's uncharted territory. We're basically colonizing this place. We're killing all the monsters and building all the cities. Destroy all the nature. Er erect uh, giant tree houses. That's what we're doing. All right, Pookie Pookie Hunt, here we go. This is uh, a very easy hunt as far as I can tell. Let's start out at the Northeast Camp. I just actually set that camp up like an hour ago. And you know what? Let's use a voucher. That's basically just going to give us extra money and XP. I'm not sure about the XP, but it'll definitely give us more money rewards. But yeah, I'm uh, streaming this game in 60 FPS, 1080p. Um, but it's also at a really high bitrate and a really high uh, CPU usage and intensity. So, this should be a very good looking stream. Please make sure you watch it in 60 oh, yeah. FPS if you can. The Pookie Pookie prefers a plant-based diet. We're more likely to cross paths with them if we, if we press further into the forest where they hunt for food. The Pookie Pookie hunt vegetables and plants. Okay, good to know. I hope we don't find any plant monsters. Um, one of the cool things about this game is the fact that it's it's kind of closer to Shadow of the Colossus than I thought it would be. So, I didn't think that this game would be for me, but I've always wanted to try it out. I've always wanted... Monster Hunter is something that I've always wanted to play and always wanted to like, but I was never sure that I was actually going to like it. Old Footprints. Feathers and Old Footprints. I think that we might be on the right path for the Pookie Pookie. <laughs> And we are heading deeper into the forest. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show off any... Oh, there he is! Anyway, uh, since I am playing a couple days before launch, I don't know if I'll be able to showcase multiplayer because I don't know if anyone from IGN or 
the other people that got this game earlier are actually playing right now. There's the Pookie Pookie we spotted earlier. Watch out and I didn't read it in time! Well, it's an extremely large bird? Yes. Yes. A lot of these things remind me of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs never looked like they did in Jurassic Park. They had feathers. They were avian. Most of them, not all of them. You know what? We may as well begin. I feel kind of bad though. Oh god! I feel kind of bad because they're so cute, you know? This is their world and I'm just coming in here and colonizing it. Killing them all. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of like Dark uh, not Dark Souls, well, I guess you could say it's kind of like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, but, uh, it's kind of like Shadow of the Colossus in that some of these monsters you're going to be hunting are, are kind of like little puzzles, and you need to figure the puzzles out, figure out what makes them tick, uh, their vulnerabilities, uh, or where they are, where they hunt. This one hunts for plants, and it looks like we're in a good place for plants. By the way, guys, let me know how the volume is. This game has pretty cool music and sound effects, so I wanted the in-game volume to be pretty loud, too. Oh! Good lord! There's a lot of dodging you'll need to do. You'll need to study your opponent's techniques, study their moves, and operate accordingly. So, this guy has some ranged attacks. It looks like uh, he can't really fly. He's a bit too big for that. You must tame these savages. Christos, you're getting a little too into the colonization portion. I don't know. I'm on the side of the beasts. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on the side of the monsters. This is their world. Not mine. Well, it will be mine soon enough. It's like a very unfriendly Pokemon. I don't even get to him up there. You know what? I, I think I should use my slingshot. Except I'm not sure how to use my slingshot. Well, whatever. Oh, crap. He has poison attacks. I should have guessed from the purple fluid coming out of his mouth. Okay, let's go ahead and swap out for the antidotes. There we go. So I haven't played the game on PlayStation 4, but I can imagine that the PC version of the game is the version to get if you can, because it's actually a, a pretty in-depth game. There's a lot to it, and there's a lot of resource management. Look at that tongue. The monsters are just delightful. I, I'm in love with the game's uh, art style. But, yeah, it certainly makes use of the keyboard, and there's... Ah! Rookie mistake. There's a lot to remember. I'm gonna go ahead and back off and utilize one of my health potions. See if I can hide somewhere nearby. I don't wanna stray too far. Not totally sure how to holster this thing. I thought it was control, but that's for the bow and arrow. Whatever, we don't need to hide yet. Oh, there we go, great. No. <laughs> Um, I have been using a, a crossbow up until now, but now I'm utilizing this enormous sword that's both an axe and a sword. That's the sword mode. No, that's the axe mode. This is... Wait, hold on. There's the sword mode. That's gonna give us a bit more reach, which is what I should have been using against this guy. Another rookie mistake I've made is going after a pookie pookie with a weapon that I've barely used. And ironically, uh, the weapon that I'm most familiar with would have been far more effective against him because it's a ranged weapon. I should have been using my, uh, bow from the start. There we go. Jeez. But I'm as green as you can get in a game that's like 300 hours long. In a, in a series with games that are around 300 hours long each, I've spent maybe four, which is nothing. Absolutely nothing. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Shadow of the Colossus, and there's not a lot of games that let you hunt monsters. This is really the only game that lets you hunt monsters aside from, well, Shadow of the Colossus. But that's kind of old. 
They just remastered it, so I think it still counts as a game that lets you hunt monsters. It's not a franchise, though, and it doesn't need to be. Now, this game isn't cross-platform. Maybe with Xbox One, I, I doubt it. I don't think it's cross-platform, period, but it's definitely not cross-platform with PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 is... They don't do cross-platform. Since they have currently, uh, won, there we go, since they've currently won the console war, uh, they don't care about, <laughs> it's so difficult for newcomers, there's a bit of a learning curve, but you really do get your money's worth with this game. Holy crap. Amazing, you can dull your weapons. Well, let's see if we have any whetstone on us. We do, great. Looks like I'm in luck for a change. Sunfish scale, whetstone, there it is. Look at that. That's so cool. Alright, we're good to go. Stop using the axe, use the sword. Yeah! Unfortunately, I can't switch to bow right now, can I? No. I don't think I have a giant bow in my item pouch. Alright, let's focus on learning how to use the weapon at hand. So, draw a weapon is control, but sheath weapon is, is not control. Uh, control is now morph. Okay. Sword mode. Great! It's best to have your weapon at the ready before you engage with the beasts, which is basically line for line from the tutorial. Oh no. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a great Jagras. I've killed one of those before. But... Not easily. So, we're gonna stick with the Pookie Pookie. Speaking of which, I don't know where he went. This is a game that requires focus. I don't have time for you minor Jagruses. Uh... Damn it. Nah, uh, we can't wait here for the... F green fly things. Th there's a lot to it. Basically, you've got these... There we go. I think I see him now. Yep, there he is. We've got these green dots, and those those are hunting flies. There's a word for it. I don't know what it is. Wait! Is that the dragon from the cover? Damn, he looks cool. Rathalos. I don't know anything about him. Let's stick with the Pookie Pookie for now. I can't tell, but it looked like Rathalos and the Pookie Pookie are in cahoots. I don't know what that means for the story, but let's get this sword back out. There we go. All right, no more messing around. Wait a second, that's not the Pookie Pookie. Holy shit, that's Rathalos. I don't know if he's a big boss, but he's definitely the dragon from the cover. Almost definitely. Yeah, that's him. That's definitely him. The designs are so cool. And this sword does not have as much reach as I had hoped. I probably shouldn't engage with this guy. This is very foolish. Yeah, at least he can't spit fire as far as I can tell. Yes, he can. I spoke too soon. Far too soon. Well, we'll have to use the trees as cover. Yeah, this is a solid 60 FPS for me. I'm using a 1080 Ti overclocked and also a i9 7900X. God, I'm so slow. I can't even kill him, can I? Jesus Christ, nope. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I know I need to heal up, I know that much. We've got one mega potion left. That's not good. That's not good at all. And I'm out of stamina. I can't even heal up when I'm out of stamina. Great. <laughs> the tree can damage you. I wasted that mega potion. Um, the tree fell on me while I was using it, which is just bad news. Chop the tail. I didn't know that was a thing I could do. He is using it a lot for attacks. Okay, well. Let me... 
catch my breath here, and we'll use the axe mode to chop the tail. That seems like the best mode. Or we could cleave it with our giant sword. You know what? It doesn't matter as long as we do it. No! Oh, good God! Ugh! When you faint, your progress isn't lost. You're just brought back to your camp. This is not a beginner's weapon. I'm gonna see if I can swap you it out in my help. chest. You'll faint and be returned to the closest camp. Faint too many times Damn. and you'll fail the quest. We have two more faints before we fail. That was our first faint. Camp offers five basic amenities. Use them to prepare for the hunt. Change equipment. Beautiful. That's what we need. I, I should probably be reading all of this. There's a lot of reading in this game. There we go. Okay, so I have been using... The Jagger's Axe is my new weapon. Um, it's kind of like the Proto-Axe. Uh, I did select an item to equip, but it's not letting me select anything. Oh! Wait, there we go. Iron Bow, yeah, that's what I was using. I enjoyed it. I've been using it for a couple of hours now, so I'm fairly a in tune. Lets you charge up power and attack for medium rain. Yeah, let's let's stick with the bow for this. Thank God. Painting was the best thing that ever happened to me. Use longsword or S and S. I don't think I have a longsword. So at the beginning of the game, I chose the axe because I thought it looked really cool, and then immediately I started using the bow because I thought it would be more useful. And when I chose the axe, I don't know if I locked out... I mean, I can craft other uh, other weapons, but I can't craft them here. So, let me check what I have in the box. Maybe I own all of this. That would be pretty cool if I could actually experiment with all these different weapons without have, first having to commit to them. So, slicers, hunter's knife, buster sword, katana. Thank you, Super Jack. Massive, are you a fan of IHOP? Actually... As barbaric and, and just embarrassing as this is, I prefer Denny's. <laughs> Although, um, I went to a Denny's uh, 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 like a couple months ago, and it was the most disgusting experience I've ever had in a restaurant. The, the Denny's smelled like dirty mop water. And it was, the food almost made me gag. Actually, it did make me gag. I didn't finish, but I was too much of a wuss to ask for a refund. To be fair, I just figured that I didn't like what I ordered, not that it was made wrong. But the, the smell alone, I should have asked for a refund. You can strategically remove uh, or damage the tail, wings, head, etc. So it's modular, that's awesome. Also, this will compare the monster damage, a wing, and it will struggle to fly. Okay, so it's actually affected by what you damage, that makes sense. Well, um... Let's go for the katana, because apparently, according to the chat room, that's going to be most helpful to us right now. I hope you're not tooling with me. Good God. Look at the size of this katana. <laughs> this isn't mall ninja shit. No, sir. Okay. Um. So I'm not going to go back after the dragon. I'm going to continue hunting the pookie pookie because that seems like it would be in my best interest. And my best interest being not dying in a horribly pathetic way. Oh my god, look at my cat friend. He's so cute. I love that. It's genius. You've got a little cat buddy that is basically your little slave. He finds things for you, helps you out. Sometimes he heals you. He's great. Very useful. This isn't where the pookie pookie is. I'm gonna keep moving. That's just... That's just a distraction. This isn't where the pookie pookie is either. In fact, this could be useful for us if I can get some ancient bones. I don't know if I can get ancient bones here. No. Doesn't look like it. I've already picked this place clean earlier. I feel... I feel pretty tough. I gotta be honest. Wielding this enormous gets on it. I'm not, though. I'm gonna try to not that let, uh... That's just a palm tree. That's not a dragon tail. You're okay. I'm gonna try not to let the giant katana go to my head. So, there's Pookie Pookie. Um, Pookie Pookie is already our mission, so... We've got him pinned. That's where we are, we gotta double back. 
Actually, no, we'll just go forward and to the left, and we'll hug the walls. That should bring us to the boogie boogie. Or I could just follow my... green flies. But I can't, can't seem to get the green flies to work. Alright, green flies are going... I guess they are working. I just have to be more patient. So... The game isn't just about combat. And that's kind of difficult for me, a newcomer, to get past. Uh, there's a bit of a learning curve, and the learning curve isn't just mechanics and controls. The learning curve is... This game is unlike most games that you've played. It's... The combat is kind of similar to something like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, just in its absolute basics, just in the basic fact that it's about timing and dodging and uh, the speed at which your weapon deals damage or the speed at which your weapon animations execute. Uh, but the real learning curve is the hunt, in my opinion. The fact that these monsters are like little puzzles. The dragon, for instance, that we were fighting, the dragon... Weapon designed for cutting attacks. Gather your spirit to increase its power. Cutting attacks, okay. I guess that plays into the mechanic that you can actually cut wings off of a dragon or its tail off. And maybe the tail throws off its balance, but the wings cutting that off definitely uh, impairs its flight. So there's a lot of different ways to hunt these monsters. But me, I'm just like a bulldozer. Unfortunately, I'm a bulldozer in a sand pit, so it's not exactly the most effective place for a bulldozer to be. Anyway, this is the first time I'm using this giant katana. I'm gonna try to do my best job with this. There's combos with each weapon. There's combos depending on the type of weapon you have as well. This is a cutting weapon. I'm gonna try to cut that tail off. It looks prime for cutting. It's already ripped for my cutting pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. I'm gonna die. Oh, I just noticed I've got some sort of a katana meter up in the upper left-hand corner. Ooh. Let's double back. I can faint two more times. I've already died once. Well, fainted once. Fainting is dying, basically. I've already fainted once. I can't afford to faint again. Eight potions, great. Alright, good to go. Gotta watch that health bar. Monster Hunter is actually a fairly old franchise. It's been around since... Not since PS1. Has it been around since PS1? I know it's been on PlayStation 2. It's been on the PlayStation Portable. The original PlayStation Portable, not the PS Vita. Maybe it was also on the PS Vita, I'm not sure. But it's. It's, uh. It's a fairly large franchise. Uh. How do I cut this thing off? Wait, 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 wait. Foresight Slash. Maybe I need slashes, not thrusts. I've been doing a lot of slashes. Damn, that's awesome! That was a cool move. You know what? Let's go deal with that poison. Oh, it's been around since PlayStation 1. Wow. Well, I'm not an expert on Monster Hunter. I haven't played any of the games aside from this one. But I've seen them. And I've always been interested in the covers. It's kind of like those fantasy novels with really badass covers. And you look at the cover and you're like, I like this, but you just, it, you, it's not enough for you to take the leap. However, Monster Hunter World, it's, uh, it's reached the point where I think that it's enough for someone as casual as me to try to take the leap. Is he fleeing? Yes, he's a little harder to track because he can fly, but we have these things that make the tracking very easy. When they're working, this is working very well right now. Sometimes I don't see them, but my, my flies are working overtime. Keep hitting the tail and eventually it'll sever. Something that I've noticed, they, they don't have health bars. I'm not complaining about that. I prefer... Good God! Great Jagras. Hey, they're fighting each other! 
Well, this is making my job very easy. Jeez, she's not forgotten about me, though. Oh, uh, you know what? Thank you, Kitty. I was gonna heal up, but he already uh, took care of that for me. Good Kitty. I think this tail is where he stores his poison. I think that's his poison sack. Not bad damage. But yeah, they, they don't have a health bar, which I am totally okay with. I would rather the fights be intuitive instead of based on stats and health. And they seem like they're pretty intuitive. Especially with the fact that there's multiple ways to damage, kill, and maim them. Such as taking care of this tail. Oh, God. The poison doesn't wear off. Good to know. Come on, antidote. Oh, great. That works instantaneously. I thought it might work over time like the health does, but it's a little faster than that, which is good for me because I took way too long dealing with it. This Pookie Pookie is far more aggressive than the other monsters I've killed. Even the Great Jaggers. The Great Jaggers would flee. And he looks like a... Well, he looks like a lizard jaguar. But the Pookie Pookie is relentless. Which is strange because he almost looks like a... It's not a mythical creature, it looks more like a magical creature. It looks kind of cute. Well, disgusting, but in a cute way. Cute, disgusting. I apologize in advance for the very loud Windows notifications. I'm actually not sure what's giving me those notifications, so I don't know what to turn off. Windows 10, huh? At least it's not Cortana. Is that Great Jaggers coming after me? No, good. I got enough to worry about. Oh, crap. Wait, what's happening here? Is is the Pookie Pookie chasing that dragon off? Maybe that dragon isn't as powerful as I thought. Maybe it's almost equal to the Pookie Pookie. Check out its tail! It's completely deflated! I guess once you see the tail puffing up, that's when it's starting to manufacture the poison. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But that's part of the fun. Before you have these monsters memorized, you gotta learn what they are and what they do. Wait! Look at that! I cut off part of its tail! Alright! There it is! That's really cool, actually. Kind of disgusting, though. Maybe since I've already cut off part of its tail, I should focus on its wings. Yeah, it seems smart. Oh, crap! He's hurting my cat! Look at my cat! He's put up a fight! Alright, how do I heal him up? I feel bad. I don't know how to heal him up. Uh, chat room, if you could help me out with that. I don't want my cat to die. I like him. This is kind of gruesome. He's not looking so good. Jesus. Neither am I. I gotta heal up fast. Okay. I'm still getting used to the controls. Oh, it's not instantaneous like I thought it was. I think that it does eventually uh, expire the poison damage, but it takes a while. You know what? We need to find a new hiding place. So how can I tell if my weapons... Oh, that's what that meter is above the red sword. The orange sword is my weapon sharpness, I guess. Or dullness factor. It's got a major dullness factor. Where's the whetstone? Great, it's unlimited. Wait, what? 
No, it is. Okay, it is the yellow orange sword. That's my sharp factor. I don't know what the red one is. Charge? Not sure. Thank you, chat room. I appreciate that. I had no idea that those jaggers could get up in the trees. It's kind of cool. Am I supposed to get up in the tree now, too? No. I'm just going to recover my stamina. I'm not sure what the red one is. They should have, uh... I think some MMOs have this, where you hold down a, a button on your keyboard, and then you just tap whatever UI that you're unsure of. And it tells you what the UI is. That would be very helpful. Oh crap, I'm stunned. There's so much to keep up with. Not only do you have to manage the battle, but you gotta manage all of your resources and all the elements that go into the battle, such as your weapons. And I'm not even using complex weapons. There's, uh... Augmentations that you can use. I don't know the right term, but... Um, for instance, with the, with the bow, there's different types of ammunition. And there's stuff that you can use for your swords as well. I don't know, you you imbue your sword with some sort of a, a raw material that increases your damage depending on what you're trying to kill. If it's an aquatic type of a creature, if it's an earth creature. You didn't miss much, Grumshakes. We're playing the PC version of Monster Hunter, and it's running really well. I have not dipped below 60 FPS. Currently, I'm around 70 FPS. And I'm running this game at a resolution of 2K with a GTX 1080 Ti overclocked and an overclocked, a heavily overclocked and delidded i9 7900X running at 4.6 gigahertz, which is as high as I could go until I started blue screening. I don't know what those things are, but there's the pookie pookie. I'm not sure if I can fall off these high trees. I'm hoping I can't, but I I definitely can. What am I saying? This game doesn't really hold your hand. Is this his nest? It's kind of cool. I'm taking a lot of damage. I've only got a couple more potions. And I don't think I have enough materials to craft more. Not on me, anyway. I could probably search around the forest, but... My point is, I need to be more careful about my damage. Speaking of which, it's time to heal up. I love that run. It's not a cool run, it's... I gotta get the hell out of here run. Which is appropriate, considering that we're trying to kill a giant chameleon parrot raptor monster. So, uh, combos, combos, thrusts, fade slash, all right, didn't know that one. This is the first time I'm using this enormous katana, and I don't know any of the combos. I'm hoping the combos in the upper right-hand corner are, um, complete. I, I doubt that's a complete list of, ooh, honey, we can use that to make a max potion. If we already have a potion, we can turn it into a max potion. Which I may as well do now. Depending on how many potions I have. I've got two. Wait, what are those? Are those max? Those are mega potions, okay. So... Guess I just won't worry about it.
There's an entire... The... The learning curve for this game is the stratosphere. Um, and that's a good thing. Because you're not meant to know everything in the beginning. It's uh, a 90-hour journey for the campaign. Alone. It's around a 300-hour journey for everything. Altogether. So... It's not exactly a game that I would recommend taking a six-month break from, necessarily, but uh, you're not expected to know everything immediately, which is nice. So what I'm trying to say is the game isn't extremely unforgiving. Not at all. Uh, for newcomers to the franchise like myself, I actually feel like it's it, it does a really good job. There are some things that I'm a little confused by every now and then, like what that red thing is. I probably skipped a tutorial somewhere that told me what the red sword is. And I'm sure you guys in the chat room are telling me what it is, but I'm in the middle of a monster battle, I can't read that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, just a couple of things like that. That's the only complaint that I would have as a newcomer. Aside from that, this game does a great job. And I can see why it's sold over 8 million copies. Which is actually Capcom's best-selling game in history, Monster Hunter World. Well deserved. Ah, just goes to show that people really like killing monsters. I mean, it's kind of genius when you think about it. Dark Souls is very popular. That that style of gameplay. Um, obviously, that's a very shallow comparison, but sometimes shallow comparisons are very useful. Genres really are shallow comparisons. It sounds stupid, but it kind of, it kind of makes sense. Are his wings getting torn up now after I've done damage to him? I don't remember his wings looking all torn up before. That'd be kind of cool if they actually show damage outside of cuts on their textures. But if their models actually change, like the tail does. It's a nice detail, nice touch. about not taking damage, but not better about not taking poison to fall back. But, uh, yeah, I've played a couple of hours into the game so far, and it's, oh, shit. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Obviously, this game is, a, it's, it's a beloved franchise, and Monster Hunter World has rave reviews, but it's the type of game that's not for everybody. A game like God of War, a game like Uncharted, it's... Well, it, they reach a wider demographic than this. Ah, oh, shit. I may be out of time here. No, not quite. Come on, come on. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. My cat just saved my ass. Ooh, bone pile. Really shouldn't be doing this now, but I need some ancient bones. So there's a lot of games that I don't like, and some of the games that I don't like are resource management simulators. This isn't really a resource management simulator like I thought it was going to be. It's... it's really just, uh... It's a game where you hunt monsters, and there's a lot of gameplay involved, not just, uh... PowerPoint, uh... Uh, not po Excel, Excel spreadsheets. It's not all Excel spreadsheets. It's not a game that you play exclusively or um, the majority with stats. There's a lot of uh, fun gameplay in terms of combat, hunting mechanics. Kind of reminds me of Arkham Knights or Arkham uh, Asylum. Where you have this hunter vision with these uh, footprints and scuff marks and scratch marks. Oh God, let's get out of here. But for those of you that actually know about Monster Hunter, um, I guess I should talk about the PC port. So the performance is great on a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, at 1080p, you'd be able to uh, run this game at a very high frame rate. At 2K, the 1080 Ti overclocked keeps it above 60, but that's it. 
playing this game at 4K is not really possible. Maybe if you have a dual Titan X, that would be possible, but not with a dual 1080 Ti. Um, as long as you're okay with sub 60 FPS, you'll be fine. But I don't really want to use the Mega Potion. I'm wasting a little bit of it. I don't really have a choice, though. He could one-shot me, I think, at half health with my extremely low level armor. We kind of look like uh, the Hunter from Spider-Man, though. That's why I chose the Bone Armor set. But it's it's a great port. Uh, the performance kind of baffles me because the art style for the game is great, but the graphics aren't the best. And it's not really a major improvement over PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X. It's really close to the Xbox One X version because uh, the anti-aliasing is better, obviously. The draw distance is better. The popping is better. But it's... The, the, the textures aren't really better, the geometry isn't really all that different. Um, and considering that the graphics aren't extremely impressive, you would think that you'd be able to run at a higher frame rate. It's stable, it's just not very high. And considering that it's only 1440p, you'd think it would be a little higher than that. You'd think you'd be able to play it in 4K at lower settings, but that's not really all that viable, especially for most people. Oh. Totally forgot he's dropping feathers. Sh do I really need to sharpen my weapon? I guess I should sharpen my weapon whenever I can because it's unlimited, uh, whetstone. It's not like that, uh, has any downsides to sharpening, but it was fairly sharpened. All right, let's resume the hunt. But, yeah, um... <laughs> if, uh, if you're considering Monster Hunter World, there's no harm in renting it from Redbox first. Unless, of course, you're looking into the PC version, which is what I'm streaming right now. You can't rent that. You can return it. Steam has a great return policy, but... Uh, it's kind of intimidating. I mean, it's easy for, uh, uh... Monster Hunter veterans to look at this game and say, yeah, that's that's a great game. I uh, I know why it's a great game. Uh, you're familiar with the mechanics. You've played Monster Hunter. But for somebody that's just looking at this, it looks like an MMO. Um, it, it really has to be played to, uh, to understand it, which seems like, you know, that's easy enough to assume, but, uh, it's really different. Unless you play a lot of games like JRPGs or Dark Souls, stuff like that, you don't need to play this game to make a decision. A lot of people blind buy, and that can work out, but if you're a traditional gamer that plays most AAA titles, if you play God of War, if you play, um, the Last of Us, stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend blind buying the game, but I would recommend trying it. Especially if you have a console, you can rent this game from Redbox for a day, uh, for a couple of bucks, and decide if it's for you. But, it's extremely different. It's a great value, and it, it's an incredible game. It's just not for everybody, is what I'm trying to say. But don't be intimidated either. I don't know if this is a game that I'm going to complete, but I'm certainly enjoying it way more than I thought I would. I've always been curious to try Monster Hunter, but it's never something I thought I would actually enjoy. But... Oh, shit. Alright! Enough talk! I gotta finish this. Anyway, it's never been a game that I thought I would enjoy, but I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, uh, quite a bit, actually. Of course, I'm just a few hours in, so depending on how the difficulty ramps or... Uh, how the resource management ramps up, I've made change my mind on that. Great. I killed an innocent little animal. It's all in the name of colonization. It's the uh, mythical industrial revolution. The creature designs are out of this world, though. That's. That's the real draw to the game's graphics. And they all have so much personality to their movements. The animators did an incredible job 
bringing these creatures to life. Let's see if there's any more feathers around here that I missed. But, um, yeah, the Monster Hunter World community, for the most part, is very friendly. You have some elitist people that just wish that no one would buy Monster Hunter World uh, uh, outside of veterans, so they wouldn't uh, have to deal with any beginners. But a lot of people playing these games are just uh, uh, really passionate about the game, and they, they don't mind um, helping out newbies. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of forms dedicated to uh, mo this game and older Monster Hunter games as well, and you can definitely find help there. There's extensive uh, Wikipedias, and the subreddit's really active, so... This isn't a game that you should just assume is toxic and um, a game that you'd have to have been playing from the beginning, which sounds silly, especially if you've uh, been playing Monster Hunter games for a long time, but you've done well. It's 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 an uncommon game. It's uh I don't know, it's it's really different. It's incredible that it's sold 8 million copies. I don't know if uh I, I would like to see numbers on how many of those uh, copies were returning players to the series and how many of those copies were newcomers to the series because um, I know a lot of people that I've talked to uh, are just really, really unsure if this is a game that they would like. Excellent work putting down that Pookie Pookie. I knew I put the task in the right hands. Just to catch you up, we're hot on the trail of Zora Magdaros now. That's enough. But there's more to figure out. I need the fifth to protect the scholars while they investigate. I'm putting you in charge of the Wild Sphere Waste. The quest will begin once you're... Oh, uh, something else I should mention. Right. This is the Time campaign that we're playing. These aren't side missions. These Make are, sure uh, main missions, and it's so not we need to really a cinematic game. At the waste. Oh, this is a pet pig, too. I really am confused by certain aspects of the game. I, I don't understand what this thing is or what it does. I think it's just a cute pet. I had no idea that I had this thing until I tried petting it and it kicked my ass. Alright, I guess we'll just go into the next quest. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this katana because it's pretty effective. I don't know if it's gonna be effective against the beast that we're going up against, but it'll give me a chance to show off uh, the forge. It's probably because I'm at such a low level, but... It seemed like I would be able to craft a wide variety of weapons and upgrade a wide variety of weapons without having put in 10 hours of grinding for materials. Since this isn't an MMO in the classic sense, it's not a total grind fest as far as I can tell, which is great. Obviously, you just can't get high level equipment very easily. There's going to be. Uh, I'm assuming some high-level rare monsters to hunt before you can forge uh, the best stuff, but that's to be expected. However, I thought that uh, I would have to lock into my choice of class. There's not really classes, there's weapons. I thought I'd have to lock into my choice of weapon and that would be it. And if I regretted it, tough shit. But that's not the case, which is great. I think they realized that this game is going to be played by people that are completely unfamiliar with Japanese games. Alright, longsword, I guess, is what I'm using here. Yeah. Ooh. Bone katana. 297 attack. I don't really know what I'm looking at aside from attack here. I may as well just upgrade the equipment that I have. Iron katana. It's, okay, cool. I've got enough to upgrade it. I've also got enough to upgrade it in the bone tree as well, it looks like. We'll stick with the iron katana for now. Massive, what are your thoughts on the Star Citizen pay-to-win drama? Ugh, oh, severe disappointment. Severe disappointment. Um, the cap was perfect. I don't... Well, I know why they removed it, but I just... I'm really disappointed that they removed it, because the, the cap was a great system, and I really hope that they re-implement it. Um, it's... I, I'm just really sad about that, because I love the concept of Star Citizen. But it's just such a damn shame that they complicate things 
by trying to uh, increase monetization. Didn't they see what happened to Star Wars Battlefront 2 for God's sake? Don't increase monetization for... Uh, it's especially with Star Wars, it's already so precarious. I mean, I've still got a hell of a lot of faith in the game, but the monetization aspects... Uh, I have faith they're going to remove... Uh, <laughs> well, I have, I have faith that they're going to roll back the, de the decision and, and the, uh, uh, reinstitute the caps that were in place. Or maybe even change the entire uh, monetization system altogether, which would be the best course of action. The caps were fine, though, if they just want to put those back. That would be hey great. There, partner. Looks like we'll be doing a little escorting. You and I have been assigned to the Wild Spire Wastes. Our mission is to protect the scholars while they conduct their research. Heard they're already out there waiting. Talk about eager and stupid. We'd better hurry up and get out there to make sure they don't get in any trouble. You mean to make sure they don't get dead? All right. Another main mission. Here we go. The best kind of quest. What an escort quest? Is that is that humor? Because escort quests are usually loathed. Something surely left by the Zora Magdaris was discovered out there in the wilds of your waste. Fifth Fleet Hunters, keep our scholars safe as you escort them out to investigate this new evidence. Yeah, that's satire. That's a satirical uh, title, definitely. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me see if there's anybody playing multiplayer. If I can back out of this, I don't think I can. Uh... Hey, partner. Alright, let's leave the quest and see if we can have other people join on us. By the way, if you're just joining up on the stream, this is the PC version of Monster Hunter World. Online session. Well, I should probably search for one, actually. I'm not sure if there's anybody else playing. This is an early access copy of the game, so I only have other so early access people. Other Let's YouTubers, other... Qui-Goon! That's a good name. I love punny names. Well, um, let's see what level qui -Goon is. However I do that. No idea. Oh well. Uh, he can join up on me if he wants to, I guess. Let's see if he's doing anything. So, okay, somebody's playing in there. Angry Pat. That sounds familiar. I think that might be a YouTuber. Anyway, uh, let's just go into single player. Oh well. Somebody can join up on if, if, if they want to, but... Most of us are completely different levels from one another. There we go. So now, uh, up to three other hunters can join us if they wish. To the uninitiated, this game can look... Hold that thought. This looks pretty fucking sick. Wow. Okay. For the first time, I'm actually impressed. These, uh... The graphics in the desert region are incredible. Look at this. Wow. One so, uh... For sure, the environment here is completely different from the ancient forest. Yeah, you got that straight. The wildfire waste features a mixture of dry land and swamps, which naturally supports its own unique ecosystem. Anyway, um, the PC version of the game is stable, but it's 
kind of low FPS. I'm really surprised. Mate, they could fix that in a patch. However, that could totally be fixed in a patch. Um, hey, I have look, no a idea wonderful. if you have a, like a, a 1050 what your frame rate would be with this game because I've got a 1080 Ti and I could not run this game at 4K. Visually, you would think I could run it at 4K. I mean, this area is beautiful, but it still shouldn't be this taxing. It shouldn't be this resource intensive. It is. I have no idea how or why. But it's very resource intensive. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fish. I'm supposed to complete a mission or whatever, but <laughs> I want to fish. Damn it! Oh god. Anyway, um, this is a great PC game, I think. So I don't want to sound Look at that judgmental. Is that some type of beetle? But, uh, I think PC gamers are really going to enjoy this, uh, this game because they, they tend to enjoy things that are, when I say overly complex, it sounds like a bad thing, but I'm not saying it is a bad thing. God, my teammates won't shut up. I'm trying to talk about the PC port. It's a great port. And I think that this game is going to appeal more to PC players than console players. Console players like games that are more cinematic. Like, uh, God of War, The Last of Us, Spider-Man, Ghost of Tsushima, Death Stranding. PC players are more into stuff like Dark Souls, and, uh, yes, I know there's a lot of console players that play Dark Souls. These aren't hard and fast rules, but, uh... Oh, dear me. We made it. I should get Can back to my teammates. Now? Anyway, something else about, uh, all of that is the fact that... This game works with a mouse and keyboard far better than I can imagine working with a controller. Obviously, this game plays fine on consoles and a controller works well, but I can see where a keyboard Stay is far more effective. Part. There's a lot to this game, a lot of resource management, a lot of things that seem overly convoluted and complex for no good reason at all, but that's not true. <laughs> that, that was just my initial assumption. Um, this game is overly complex Look, for a good wildfire. reason, that's because we'll find what we came for. it is complicated. There's a lot to but it. This isn't your go. average AAA game. Well, this is a 300 hour long AAA game. A lot of casual gamers find The Witcher Actually, a really large, uh, so in-depth game. It's, it's a mile wide and a mile deep. Well, this game is two miles wide, five miles deep. And the uh, PC version is great aside from the performance i know a lot of people out there that want to play this probably have like a 1050 i don't have a 1050 to test it with someone's tested it out there i'm sure some of the journalists that are playing right now uh are testing that but i just know that a 2k with a 1080 ti i should be getting more fps so i'm a little worried for those of you that have lower tier graphics cards or uh cpus i don't know how cpu intensive this game is i'm assuming not very but you know what this means, my friends. In times like these, it is uh, important to uh, stay home and run for your life. Go, go, go! Just move on through. You might be able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distractor. I could, but he doesn't seem to see me anyway. Oh crap, well, I spoke too soon. Now, performance issues? No, I'm not having any performance issues whatsoever. I haven't had any glitches, I haven't had any, uh, any crashing, nothing. It's, it's been very smooth, and I've never once dipped below 60 FPS. But, I, uh... I am running this on a, gen, uh, on a 1080 Ti. If you're running this at 1080p, you're probably going to be fine with a 1070. In fact, I would say you should definitely be able to run this at 60 FPS with a 1070. But a lot of people have 1440p monitors and uh, graphics cards lower than a 1080. And that is when you're going to run into problems. Because it's just not possible to run this at a resolution higher than 1080p with a good frame rate. If, uh, if you have anything lower than a 1080 Ti, that is. I don't even think a 1080 could run this at 60 FPS. 1440p. Actually... But she could provide the commission with valuable data. Hunter, 
I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? Man, this portion of the map is gorgeous. I'd love to see what this game looks like at 4K, but that's not going to happen. You'll get around 30 FPS at 4K. I've tried. Maybe more if you have a SLI uh, Titan X configuration, but I don't know. This game maybe doesn't play well with SLI. A lot of games don't. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the researchers. So my performance here is a little better than the, in the forest. Obviously, there's uh, crap. There's just less going on. And that's probably why it looks better as well. The leaves and the trees just don't have quite as much detail as you would expect them to have. An herbivore native to this region. Wait, why are they running? They look scared. See, when Apheros feel threatened, they assume a defensive posture. Whatever's out there, it could be a danger to us too. We have to be careful. Finally. I thought we'd never get here. Amazing. Glorious. I don't know if they still need me to defend them, but they're at their location. What a magnificent I've just specimen. been over here decking around looking at the Ooh. Now those do look there. nice. Keep it up. What engine is this? The evidence is within sight. You've done a fine job, Hunter. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I've done a terrible job. I don't even know where these guys are. Well, Let's wow! Kind of present Zora Damn, those like look cool. You know what? I've really got to applaud uh, the developers of Monster Hunter World for staying true to their roots. They could have totally Dragon Age Inquisition this game, and... They, you know what? I don't even know if it would have sold more copies. 8 million copies is damn impressive for a game like this. But they could have simplified it and made it just, uh, God of War. But with monster hunting. <laughs> I would have played the hell out of that, but as it is, this game is perfect for what it sets out to be. Oh, look over there! Another oh, clue! Me first! Eureka! <laughs> Holy crap! I just can't get up. Wow, he's a lot smaller in person. I thought you'd be taller from the cutscenes. Anyway, um. My god, the creatures look cool. I just can't get over it. So, I, I gotta be honest, I'm not actually playing this game for the classic Monster Hunter gameplay. Whatever that. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm guessing that's stat resource management stuff. Anyway, I'm playing this game because. These monsters look so cool! And I'm guessing that's where some of the 8 million in sales came from. This is Capcom's best-selling game of all time, because whoever's designing these monsters deserves a raise. It looks incredible. But the best part about the monsters isn't just the visuals, it's the animations. And the fact that they're all unique. Like, this Barret seems to have some sort of a, a defensive mud flinging attack it's almost like pokemon but you know monster hunter pokemon which is pretty cool anyway uh you're gonna have to bear with me because i'm a complete newbie and i wasn't gonna put in a hundred hours before i made this video this is a video not for you monster hunter veterans 
if I mean if you want to hear about the PC version then this is your video but this is a video for people that don't know what the hell this game is like uh, like me five hours ago anyway um, this game's been out for a while now on PlayStation 4 Xbox one uh, I don't know if it's coming to switch but it's been out for a while it's been out for a couple of months and it's it's reviewed quite well. It's an excellent game. It sets out what it what uh what it does, it does perfectly in its genre. It's as far as I know, considered one of the best Monster Hunter games, if not the best Monster Hunter game. It's also considered the best Monster Hunter game to start the franchise. Which makes sense. They uh very carefully develop the game to be a great entry point to the franchise while not alienating the veteran players. And the PC ports, as I've said many times before in this stream, it's great. If you have a 1080 Ti, uh, you'll be able to play this no problem, no sweat at 2K. 4K is not possible at 60 FPS, but at 2K max settings I have a dip below 60. At 1080p, I would say the 1070 should be able to tear through this no sweat. Maybe a 1050, I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, it's very stable. It's... I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best looking game visually. I mean, it, it doesn't need to look any better than this. What I'm saying is, don't expect this to be Monster Hunter Crisis but the art design more than makes up for a couple of jaggies here and there. And this desert region is particularly impressive. I'm actually really impressed by the graphics here. They look really cool. The forest uh, is a little more difficult to uh, look lifelike, but deserts are... Uh, I should have stocked up on potions. Great. Well, I gotta watch out for these little things that look like bloat flies. That's the only thing that's going to be able to heal me up. My cat partner here is going to look out for them as well. I am completely unprepared. I should have eaten a meal, too, before I went after this mission. There's a lot of prep that I completely forgot about. And I'm probably going to die. I've done a fair job dodging him. <laughs> so maybe I can just keep that up. Can I go in here? Yes! Wow, I don't think he can follow me, can he? Great. Let's see if I can find some help. This game does have open world elements. So I'm playing a mission. I've got a goal that I'm supposed to complete, but you can just go exploring if you want to. And that's actually very helpful for your main missions because not only do you get to familiarize yourself with the area, but you also get to uh, pick up a lot of gear, a lot of loot, a lot of elements for crafting. And, of course, learn to hunt. I've done a little bit of open-world exploration. The worlds are fairly large. Oh, great. What's she doing here? I thought she was with the cavern. I mean, the... the uh, is that him roaring? I think it is. Cool. Well, doesn't matter. Let me see if I can do some crafting. <sighs> no. I don't have enough materials. I thought I had a lot of herbs. I've been collecting the entire play session. Oh well. Let's get back up to the surface and see if we can kill this thing on a half full health bar. It's not half empty, it's half full. Eat rations to boost your stamina. Oh, it's a good idea. Maybe we can make up for the lack of health with a overabundance of stamina. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's a cool-looking armor set, aside from the mankini underneath. You're not supposed to look at that angle anyway. Great. That stamina is actually going to help us quite a lot. Hey! I think our cat buddy just picked up... Oh, no, he didn't pick up an herb. We just ran past herbs. Great. We need ten of them to build a potion. Is this another herb? I haven't memorized what these are. Needleberry. Okay. 
I don't know if I've put anything inside of the storage box, unless the storage box is automatic. Maybe when I collect my rewards, it's automatically sent to the storage box. I'm not sure. But, for those of you, it seems like most of the people watching this are Monster Hunter veterans. So that's embarrassing, but if anyone... Wow! Looks like a horseshoe crab. I love horseshoe crabs. Sorry, little buddy. Good God, I can't even kill a horseshoe crab. <laughs> nope. Great. Anyway, if you're not a veteran, um, don't let this intimidate you. I'm only four or five hours into the game, so I'm a complete noob. Trust me. Um, it's, it's not an impossible game. You don't need to have played the previous games in the franchise to get this one. This is a great entry point. And... Even if you, uh, haven't really played any JRPGs or something like The Witcher or Dark Souls, you can totally pick this up in about five to ten hours. Keep in mind it's a 300 hour game, so... Oh, he's cute! He's rolling around in mud! How adorable. If you like what you see, if, if you like monsters and if the thought of... Hunting monsters appeals to you. Definitely rent this game if you have consoles. If you have PC, you'll have to blind buy it. Unfortunately. I don't know if there's going to be a demo or a beta. I don't believe so. There was a beta for uh, the console versions of the game, but... I don't know if there's going to be a beta for the PC version. I haven't heard anything about that. It's a great value, though. It really is. And the developers are... Okay, I've got to figure something out. I'm not doing any damage here. So, he's encasing himself in mud, and I think the mud is acting as... some sort of armor. Yeah, it looks like I knocked some of it off. I'm barely dealing any damage here. So these monsters are kind of similar to the Colossi in Shadow of the Colossus, where they're puzzles, and you'll get them run! <laughs> yes, finally, a realistic running animation in a video game! It's kind of like Shadow of the Colossus, where you have to figure out the monsters' uh, patterns and watch their behavior. So you know what makes them tick. This guy's got something to do with mud. I haven't figured out exactly what that is. It can slow me down, that's for sure. But, um... It looks like my blade's completely sharpened. So, I don't know if I need to sharpen the blade. There's a lot of mechanics like that. Uh, you can dull your blade over time. Which is kind of great. It's similar to something like... Look at that fish! The designs of this game are just simply delightful. Um, yeah, there's a lot of mechanics to the game, such as dulling of blades, but it looks like it's sharp. I'm going to try the whetstone anyway. Oh, it can be green. Thank you, Eddie. So, Eddie's my little cat buddy. Your little cat buddy is your personal slave. And... They'll bring you health from time to time. That's the only reason I'm still alive. I thought the yellow was its only color. <laughs> Turns out it's not. Looks like this guy's weak area is just below the back of his tail. Right there. That's where I'm dealing the most damage. I think this guy dulls my blade more than more fleshy creatures because of all of his scales. There's uh, a lot of techniques to battling these creatures. I don't know if I can cut his tail off or not. That could open up a nice weak spot if I could. But you can... Um, some, some of the enemies are modular in terms of uh, the damage that you can deal. You can cut the dragon's wing off or maim his wing and that'll make it far more difficult for him to fly, it'll Im impede his mobility, and you can also cut tails off, stuff like that. 
Let's go ahead and use that whetstone again. It's strange that it, it says right stick, but I'm not on a console, so when it says right stick, it really means your keyboard. They haven't updated that. Um, at first, it might feel a little clunky, especially with a mouse and keyboard, but if you've played MMOs, you'll you'll get the feel of it fairly quickly. Oh, that's right, E. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played an MMO. And I don't really play JRPGs either. Um, oh, what's, what, what's that really popular one? Nier? Is that what it's called? Is it... I, I think I think it's near Autonoma or something. That was a really popular JRPG. I don't know if it has gameplay similar to this. Um, what I'm trying to say is Americanized games, they're very streamlined, you know. Uh, they, they, they keep it simple for the most part. But a lot of foreign games, they don't keep it simple. They are usually more in-depth. JRPGs is a good example. Another good example would be, uh, uh, uh Polish game developers. Uh, uh, oh, um, Kim Kingdom Come Deliverance. Look at the difference between Kingdom Come Deliverance and something like Elder Scrolls. There's a lot you can- oh, shit. I should have seen that coming. He was on the backswing. There's a lot you can do in Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's really a simulator. Elder Scrolls is not a simulator. I'm not saying this is a simulator. It's as close as we'll get to one. But... Oh, great, he's rolling around in the mud again. I'm guessing that boosts his armor. My GPU is a GTX 1080 Ti Aurorus Extreme. It's overclocked as much as it possibly can be while still being stable. Uh, my CPU is a 7900X overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz. I've got... 32 gigabytes of RAM with great timing. But it's very fast RAM. So I've got a real powerhouse and I can only run this at 60 FPS. Uh, 2K, which is not what I expected. Great, my blade's dulled again. Maybe I don't have to run too far. He doesn't seem to really be interested in pursuing me all that much. Let's just keep going at the tail. That's where it seems to deal the most damage. And eventually, I might lop it off. Did he stun me? He <laughs> looked like he stunned me with his breath. He just breathed on me. I'm sure his breath is rank. You know what? That's my new goal. I'm gonna see if I can cut that tail off. But the ga this game is all about the thrill of the chase and the thrill of the hunt. And the gameplay isn't bad either, the, the actual combat itself, but my favorite part is, uh, definitely the hunts. Coincidentally, that's one of the most unique parts of Monster Hunter. There's really no other game that lets you, well, hunt monsters. Ark is basically just walking, and yeah, it, it, the last time I played, you, 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 you could observe their, their behavior and their environments a little bit, but it didn't really matter. Just kill them. <laughs> but this is a little more like Shadow of the Colossus, which I'm a big fan of. True classic. Highly recommend you guys check out the remastered version of PS4 if you have the console. It's really worth it. The game has aged beautifully, but not only that... It's an incredible remaster, in my opinion. It's the best remaster I've ever seen. They've basically rebuilt the game from the ground up. It looks like it could have come out in 2017. Instead of being almost a decade prior. Something else I should point out about the game. You can, of course, play with a controller if you wish. So if you're coming from Xbox, for instance, you can totally just plug in your controller and play this natively. Obviously, most games support controllers, especially the PC port that was originally on consoles, but just in case you were unsure about that, 
I would recommend learning to use the mouse and keyboard, however, it's, uh, it's really fitting of it. Oh, crap. I should have seen that coming. I got a little too comfortable. There's not a lot that I can hide in. Wait, maybe this. That's not hiding. <laughs> That's not hiding! Um, I gotta sharpen my blade, so... You could just cool it for a second. He's going after my cat instead of me, thank god. Yes! Just in time! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Seriously though, it's, uh, it's a damn impressive achievement for Monster Hunter to have sold over 8 million copies. And that's not total, that's just this this game alone. Eight million copies. Capcom's highest selling title ever. That might be eight million shifts. I think it's eight million sold. Regardless, it's very impressive. I know a lot of people are getting into it simply because the monsters are badass looking. And I know that's that's why I'm playing it. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate that. Oh no, he's not giving me health, he's healing up himself! You selfish son of a bitch! Alright, I've got a potion here somewhere. Anyway, um, I could have totally seen this franchise, uh, westernizing, I guess is the term, and being like a, like a God of War-esque game, less Dark Souls-y, more God of War-y, where it's, it's a cinematic game, which is more about the campaign and the story, and about... Cool ass movie monster fights, right? Yes! We got his tail, we're making progress! I mean, we've got a monster hunter looking dragon in uh, God of War. Which I guess is kind of helping me picture it. Oh shit. I'm using a new keyboard and I accidentally pressed shift instead of control. Well, we're gonna hop back on his back. Anyway, uh, obviously that would have completely alienated veterans of the series, but it would have been a safer bet as far as, uh, shareholders would be concerned to just dumb the game down and make it flashier, make it more western, more simple, and more people would buy it, right? Well, it doesn't always work out that way. It usually doesn't work out that way. Shareholders and stockholders, they usually think it works out that way, but it doesn't. Um, anyway, they didn't do that. And they stayed true to their vision while still, uh, streamlining it a little bit. Modernizing it, I guess, would be the word to use a little bit. Which, they hit a great, uh, they hit a great stride here. They really did. I'm... Very excited to see how this game is going to sell because it's uh, shipped or sold 8 million copies so far, which is a, a very impressive number on console alone, PlayStation and Xbox. It's not even out on PC yet. It releases the 9th, so I'm really excited to see how it sells on PC as compared to the consoles. Because this seems like a PC game through and through. Obviously, it plays great on console. Everybody loves it on consoles, but... Um... Having a choice, most people would want to play this on PC, and it just plays beautifully with a mouse and keyboard, so we'll see. I'll be very interested to see how that turns out. I know Final Fantasy, the latest Final Fantasy, uh, uh, it kind of actually has similar performance to this game, where when I'm playing at a resolution of 2K on my system, I'm getting about 60 to 70 FPS, and 4K I'm getting around 30 FPS. And that's also a Japanese game, which is a really shallow comparison, but whatever. I should really do more combos. Wow! Wait, wait, wait. This... Are you saying Monster Hunter World has, uh, like a million pre-orders for the PC version from China alone? That's incredible. Yeah, shareholders are usually not experts in what's best for video games. <laughs> or experts on what people want, but they think they're experts in what people want. Kinda like Charlie Sheen thinking he's God's gift to women. Yeah, this is the PC version we're playing.
This is an early copy. Uh, the game releases uh, the 9th of this month. By the way, thank you Capcom for sending me a copy of Monster Hunter World. Early. Very cool of them. I'm a complete noob to the franchise. Never played a single Monster Hunter, but I've always wanted to, and this is the perfect opportunity for me to check it out. Ooh, right into the mud. I'm guessing there's nothing really special I can do with this guy. Just chip away his health. I'm assuming the tail is the weak point, though. The only thing I could be doing is fighting better. Better combos, etc., etc., etc. I don't know if he has explicit weak points or weaknesses with certain elements. He seems more mobile now that his uh, tail's lopped off. These fish are attacking, which is kind of crazy. Getting a little bit of help, I guess. Yeah, looks like the tail's the way to go because his legs... I'm not getting through that armor. It's incredible to me how just how different Japanese games are from... Uh, Western games. Incredibly different. Which is why they're their own genre, really. They're far more... They're far less uh, about the flash, and they're far more about the depth. Which I guess kind of reflects our cultures as well. I hate fighting him in water. It's so rocky. You know what? I should really lock onto him. Keep forgetting about that. It, it's so rocky and uneven. It's really difficult for me to hit where I want to hit. Oh, God. Well, that's going to dock some points. That's my first feint. I've got two more before I fail the entire mission. Are you okay? If you need help, use your SOS flare to call other hunters. This game is multiplayer, and they recommend that you play with friends. It's it's best played with, I think you can have a maximum party of four. Maybe the maximum party is five, but it's not more than five, and I'm pretty sure it's four, including yourself. Anyway, uh, since this is pre-release, there's not that many people that seem to have it, so I don't really have anybody to play with. Otherwise, I would showcase some multiplayer for you. But I'm assuming multiplayer works just as it does on consoles. There's not really a whole lot to say about the PC port other than it works beautifully aside from performance being lower than you would think it would be. But it's very stable. Very stable, which I'm not used to. I've uh, gotten a lot of early access copies to games, and to be fair, this game has been out on consoles for a while, so they've had some time to work with it, but... This is one of the more stable pre-release games I've played. Which is... really cool. I always like to see that. A lot of developers don't put too much stock into the PC versions of their games. Like, unfortunately, DICE games. I love DICE. Love them to death. I play the hell out of their games, but sometimes... there are just fatal PC errors that make the game unplayable. And they have some difficulty in fixing those errors sometimes. So kudos to Capcom. No crashing whatsoever. It's just been beautiful. Really, really, really solid. Um, I'm trying to think of, I, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. None. Again, the only problem is, can I do it like a, yeah, yeah, woo! The only problem is performance. And I do find that strange, which is why I've been talking about it so much. I wouldn't have expected to have, oh god, any performance issues. I was expecting to play this game at 120 FPS, to be perfectly honest with you guys. 
I realize it's open world and everything, but uh, there are games that look better visually. And when I say it looks better visually, I don't mean to say I think this game looks bad. Quite the contrary, it's gorgeous, thanks to the art design. But as far as polygons and pixels and textures, it's not... It's not Star Wars Battlefront 2. Or even The Witcher 3. Um... I'm not sure what, where the performance issues are coming from, which is actually kind of a good thing, because I think it's something that can be fixed. I think they'll be able to uh, release some performance patches. I don't think that it's... it's... great. He's limping. We almost got him. I feel like such a dick. This game is just one big metaphor for imperialism, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, I don't think that this, uh, game is going to have performance issues, uh, for very long. I think they'll be able to fix it. Obviously, I'm just talking out of my ass here, but it seems like something that they should be able to, uh, work with. It's not like it's really graphically intensive, and that's the problem, is what I'm trying to say. On the other hand, you're not going to have a huge improvement from the Xbox One X. The draw distance is better, the pop-in is better, uh, obviously, and Ielsing's better, um, everything's better, but it's not going to be a night and day difference like playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 in 4K compared to playing it on the Xbox One X. Also, you won't be able to play this game in 4K until they release a performance patch because it's just not gonna happen. Um, you also aren't going to- is he healing himself? Oh... He's sleeping. The snot bubbles are gross, but kind of cute at the same time. Alright, uh... Let's draw the weapon and see what kind of sneak attacks we can do. Let's do some thrusts. Some thrusts and slashes. Oh, I don't even know I could capture this guy. I'm gonna sound like a pacifist, but I would rather capture him than, than kill him because I am in his world. This is his world, not mine. That's what always bugs me when I watch uh, uh, sci-fi movies where they go to an alien planet and they're like, what the fuck? These aliens are attacking us. Yeah, you're trespassing in their world. It's totally within their rights. Don't be mad at them. Obviously, it would be nice if they could open up a discussion, but that's not exactly realistic. That's why I love Star Trek so much. They actually acknowledge questions like that. Like Picard in The Next Generation, there was this uh, crystal creature that was eating worlds, it was devouring worlds, and, and Picard refused to kill it because... It, the, the creature was just, uh, it wasn't inherently evil, it was just... It was just hungry. We were just animals or insects to it, 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 it you know? It's not like it was murder or something. Oh, my, my weapon needs to be sharpened, I just realized. We're so close to the end, though. So, I'm hitting... I may as well sharpen it now, because I'm not... Oh, God! No, I regret this! Ugh. I'm not really doing any damage. Um, part of the reason is because my blade is dull, but I think another reason is uh, I'm not really hitting his tail. I'm trying to aim for the tail, but if I aim up, if I aim down, it seems like I still do the same animation. Great. He's distracted. Thank you, Cat Slave. It's more like Dark Souls in that way. Less like something like God of War, which is something you may not be able to tell from the gameplay. Just the footage, if you're new to this. It's, it plays like an MMO. Uh, 
and more like uh, something like Bloodborne. It's it's not a hack. It's not a hack and slash. Is what I'm trying to say. It's definitely not a hack and slash. It's more methodical. It's more uh, based around strategy and timing. It's kind of like a fighting game. It's a 3D fighting game. So it's not for everybody. But that, of course, doesn't mean it's a bad game. Some people think that that does mean it's a bad game if it's not for them. That always bugs me. And some people assume that I'm saying it's a bad game because of that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying westernized games are better. Of course not. Uh, it's a great game. God, it's, <laughs> it takes a lot of getting used to, though. Some guys are probably watching this like, God, why does it just kill it? All he has to do is press X, Y, and then flip over and, and use the uh, exo berries and, and, and hit the beast, beast weak point underneath the chest plate. I haven't played a monster in a game before, okay? I'm about four hours into it, which as far as I can tell is a deadly squat. It's a 300-hour game to completion, a 96-hour game to complete the campaign. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's not the most intuitive game I've played, but I gotta say, for as complicated it is, and is as in-depth as the game is, uh, the tutorial is substantial. More substantial than I would have thought. They do a good job explaining everything, but I would need a lot more time with it than what I've put in so far. I think these are tall enough. Yeah, great. Where'd he go? <laughs> I didn't even need to hide. He's running away. Let's use the whetstone again. Ah, oh, I wasted my potion. Great. Strange, I thought he was close to death. Uh, he was limping, we cut off his tail. And he's still taking a beating. Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot to lock on to him, that's right. Well, I just walked right into that one, didn't I? Something I would like is if there were, and I guess I'm saying I would like a, a multiplayer Shadow of the Colossus, but it would be really cool if these beasts had, uh, it, okay, what would be really cool is if you had more control over your character, and you could actually grapple these beasts and climb them and stuff like that, and you had more control over, maybe I can use V with my sword. I know you can use V with a bow and arrow. Let me try it. Oh! No, I can't. Ah, oh, shit! Anyway, if you had, um, controls like Shadow of the Colossus, uh, with a game like this, and you could actually, uh, climb on top of them and, and, and try to attack different, uh, more defined parts, like maybe the top of their head or something like that, I guess that's more into quick time event territory, which isn't really the intent of this game in the first place, but... Oh, there's that wonderful view again. Okay, the beast is almost dead. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I know that my blade needs to be sharp. And my health is, uh, good enough. We just gotta keep dodging and keep hitting the tail. And lock onto him. And we also need a loincloth. A more substantial loincloth. How can you hate a game that has a mankini? You can't. Maybe it, if it had a... a banana hammock... <laughs> it would have been game of the year. 
wonder if this is the best weapon to go in with. Maybe I should have gone in with my bow. Obviously, this isn't a showcase of Monster Hunter World as it is uh, PC gameplay of it, but there are many different weapons, and they're varied. They're very different from one another. You have an axe that transforms into a sword, you have ranged uh, projectile weapons, you've got arrows, you've got guns? I th yeah, you've got guns. Five minutes left. Good lord. I still don't know what that mud is. Like Shadow of the Colossus, there are things that you're supposed to interpret. I don't know how to interpret the mud. Uh, I think it's something to do with armor, but he's real close now. As you can hear from his canned sound effect that's just playing on loop. Kind of reminds me of Godzilla. Yes! Alright, we're back. Finally. I actually wasn't aware there were quick time events in this game until I uh, reached this fight. Really? Just one damage? There we go. We're working up. It's like a Rocky montage. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. You can capture certain monsters. I don't know if I can capture this thing, but... Honestly, it's kind of pissed me off, so... I'm just gonna kill him. Really cool looking creature design, though. Some of these creatures have rare materials that you can utilize to uh, forge new weapons, upgrade current weapons, and the appearance of the weapons changes as you upgrade them, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can forge armor. There's a couple of different sets, and you can even forge armor and weapons for your little cat slave, too. Which is neat. Very neat. And there's varied environments. I don't know if there's any snow. I don't think there's snow maps, but you've got desert maps, you've got jungle maps, you've got beach aquatic maps, and obviously, depending on the uh, environment, the flora and fauna is different. You're gonna have different creatures with different strengths and different weaknesses. It's like Pokemon, but gritty. Oh, <laughs> it's not hey. that gritty either, actually. Glad you're back. Oh, don't worry. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. I guess I'll go round them up. <laughs> Wait for us back at camp. You there. Are you part of the fifth fleet? Then that means the Elder Crossing is upon us again. The years fly by faster than I can count them. I too am a hunter of the First Fleet. Might I trouble you to share your tale with me? Let's find a suitable place. Wait, there's elves in the game? I think I saw gnomes or dwarves or something. I didn't know they were elves, too. <laughs> well, I mean, I, if there's anything I should so, be questioning, it's the cat people. My old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good scholars are as incorrigible as ever. Might I ask, are you tracking the monster that dropped that massive slag? I as well. It seems so easy. Follow the trail, find the truth. Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail. To you and the others. Please pass a message on to the commander. That I am safe. But a force compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. If you too feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again. At the end of all of this. Uh, oh, uh, 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 
Was that who I think it was? Guys, everybody in the chat room seems to be confused about something. Um, <laughs> my character doesn't have a voice because I, in the character creator, I made him a mute. You can either have a, a character with a voice, or you can have a mute. So, I don't know what's so confusing about that. Anyway, it's kind of funny that the chat room is uh, not really too keen on our uh, silent protagonist, yet everybody hated the voice protagonist in Fallout 4. They all wanted... I know it's a little different because you choose what you say, but still. I don't know. I, I don't think that our character would add too much by being able to talk. Good to see you. The, the, it's it, you're not really playing for a cinematic story in any way. It's kind of like Dragon Age Origins, where you're playing for the lore of the story, not the cutscenes. Fine work out there. Thanks to you, our people are safe, and we know more about our target than ever. Since you left, we've been charting all the evidence we've collected across the continent. The scholars think they'll be able to pinpoint Zora Magdaros' location soon. Okay. Until then, it seems a uh, scholar has gotten separated from his escort. I need the fifth to go find him and guarantee his safety. The scholar was separated from es escort while collecting evidence in the Wild Spire Waste. Have I been there? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Well, the we've got a new camp. I think that's where we were, the Wild Spire Waste. Maybe not. Let me check the world map. So, the game is open world, but in the sense that destiny is it's basically uh you've got very large maps that are completely open it's uh yeah it's like that it's a lot it's much larger than, than destiny's quote-unquote open world but it's not like the witcher where it's all open anyway um it works fine it doesn't feel small at all um the maps are actually quite detailed and complex in terms of how you're able to scale them. But uh, let's go check out the cantina. So, cats are slaves, but they are also cooks. And the food looks pretty damn good. So, in line with animes, I think in animes it's, it's a trope for men to, and women to uh, eat a lot of food and be like, Yes, we burn energy or something. Something like that. Anyway, it's the same thing in Monster Hunter. <laughs> There's comically large plates of food, but the best part of this game is uh, the meowscular chef and the food that he makes for you. Here, check it out. Let's, uh, let's get a meat platter. Sounds pretty good. Uh, well... You're not supposed to go off of what sounds good, you're supposed to go off of the effects. You eat the meals because they boost your effects depending on what you need for the mission that you're going to execute. But I'm doing this purely for the, uh, I want to be hungry. <laughs> this game's got a lot of personality. It really does. Okay. I'm gonna go, uh, after a slightly scaled back mission, maybe. Because I am kind of, uh, new to the game. Is that my servant? Housekeeper. Can't go to my room. Except sinister shadows in the swamp. Don't know why I can't go to my room. I think that was my room. It said your room with the red X over it. Maybe I have to accept the mission before I... I don't know. It's a complicated game, if you haven't played it before. Yeah, we may as well upgrade our weapon real quick. I'm thinking about doing a side mission, but I might just go ahead and do the main mission and suffer through it. I should find a weapon and stick with it, is what I should do. Alright, we can upgrade it, great. But I don't think I'm going to stick with the katana. I think I'm gonna go with the iron bow. That's what I've been using, and I, I like it. 
Um, let's see. Well, there's really only one choice we have, isn't there? I could craft the bone bow, but... We'll stick with the ore bow, or the iron bow. Why not? Great! Alright, not bad. Actually, I've got some more armor I could craft, too. So, there's a really badass helmet that looks like it's straight out of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Check it out. Oh, I don't have enough ancient bones. Too bad. Well, it looks awesome. This is what it looks like. Look at that! Looks like I'm about to rip somebody's heart out. It's beautiful. Anyway, let's go check out our mission board. My quarters are downstairs. Okay. What's this? Oh, maybe that says it's not my room because it's got an X and X sometimes means no. So, no your room. Let me look at the map. That might be helpful. Smithy, armory, item box. Uh, okay, there's my room. What is that other place? Maybe that's someone else's room? Well, it's a room. It's not my room. Starting to look familiar. Oh, there it is. I've been here once before. Once. So, in your room, you manage your gear. You manage your things. You can also train, which is probably what I should do, but I've had a fair amount of experience with the bow, so I'm not going to go to the training room with that. I should have gone in with the katana. Alright, I do have items sent to my pouch. I mean, sent to my box. What do I have? This is what's on me. I should probably put some stuff away. Something that's weird about the UI, if, for me anyway, obviously if you're used to Monster, Monster Hunter, this isn't weird to you, but as a new player, the confirm thing is weird. Like, where do I click? Do I just click anywhere? Do I click on this? Okay, I click on the number. Alright. Guess that makes sense. Do I have any potions in my box? Yes, great. Fantastic. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's get some... Stamina potions. May as well fill up our potions, I guess. You can have a maximum of ten. But... Since, uh... This might be unclear. When I'm talking about... Things like, uh... I don't know, the UI being very different. I'm not saying that as a negative. I'm just saying that as a heads up for people that haven't played this game before and maybe they're looking into it. Uh, that's just some things to consider. To not to consider, not to purchase, but just to consider that to give it a little time. Give it a little time, get used to it. It is a very well made game. It's just different than what a lot of us are used to. It's kind of like when I played some of my first Japanese games or Japanese-made games on the PlayStation 1, and I was like, what? Circle is accept? X is accept, not circle. Well, that's just how they do it over there. And it just kills me, as far as my muscle memory is concerned. My muscle memory just hates that. Let's see what optional quests we have. Everything's completed. I gotta find things, I guess. All right, let's go... Maybe join a quest. Maybe there's somebody playing around our level. I don't think so. They're either lower or higher. Oh, great. I've already completed that quest, but it's a chance to look at multiplayer. This is the only person I've seen that's close to my level in multiplayer in this game because it's pre-release, so 
not many people are actually playing it. Not many people at all. Just some journalists and YouTubers and stuff like that. Kestadon Kerfuffle is going to be pretty easy, but it's a fun map. It's a fun environment. Let's see where he is. I'm guessing he's the red marker. Yeah, there he is. Delrif. Okay. That's who I'm playing with. And he just completed the mission. Great. Well, what timing? Oh well. We may as well go back manually. Why not? Seems as if I can't. No, I cannot. Well, that sucks. We just gotta wait until the timer expires. Yeah, cannot depart. Hmm. That's too bad. How well would this run on a 1050 Ti? Well, I don't... I honestly don't know, because I don't have a 1050 Ti to test it with. Otherwise, I would. Um... Let me put it this way. It's... This game is more taxing on performance than I thought it would be. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good deal more taxing on performance than I thought it would be. It's, uh... Cool, I got rewards from that. I thought that I wasn't supposed to get rewards if it was after a certain amount of time that he was playing the mission already. Hmm. Regardless, I don't think you're gonna get a great frame rate. Head to the Obviously you're playing in 1080p, not 1440p like I am, but I, I think you're gonna get sub 60 FPS. I'm, in fact, this is a little overdue, but let me show you guys the system requirements. I don't think I can do that here. Yeah, I, I think I gotta go back to the main menu to show everything. Let's just do that real quick. So, being the PC version of the game, I really should have showed you guys uh, the options earlier. Let's do that now. This is the title screen, of course. So, in options, you can obviously make it full screen, uh, windowed, windowed borderless. Um, obviously you can play at 4K if you want to, but you will not, no one can play this game at 4K 60fps max settings. Probably not 4K 60fps, period. V-Sync, obviously, I'm using G-Sync right now, but V-Sync is an option, of course. I don't think there's half V-Sync or anything, no, there's not. Um, these are the graphic settings. Everything's at max. Also, I hate this. Why is resolution, I mean, why is ambient occlusion at high? And this is at highest. This is highest! God, couldn't we just have, like, maximum? That way we know, and we don't have to check? Like, if it's been a couple months of looking over the settings, I'm gonna check that. I've always found that annoying. Uh, we've got, uh, NIALSing, FXAA, TAA, um, shadow quality is probably going to have a fair effect. Um, I think that volume rendering quality is taxing, particularly taxing. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's set everything at the lowest settings and see what kind of a frame rate I can get. So, um... I'm gonna keep resolution where it is. Shadow quality low. I know you're listening off. Variable. Okay. This is kind of going overboard, though. We'll have to, uh, restart the game. But, let's see what the frame rate's like now. So, I'm running at 1440p on a 1080 Ti. Great, I don't need to restart. Let's see what it looks like and how it plays. So, I've played this game for about five hours, maybe six hours now. I'm pretty familiar with the graphics, and 
Obviously, this isn't a side-by-side -side comparison, but whoa, that's a big difference. Jesus. I know it's a different time of day, but whoa, that's a huge difference that that makes. And you know what? Um, it's kind of choppy now. I guess that's because I set something as variable, but... I'm running at about 111 FPS solid, and this is in the hub world, so... If we just... Let's see, the, the, the most taxing area in the game so far has been the Ancient Forest. Let's see what the FPS looks like over here. Um, when everything was at maximum 1440p, I was running s between 60 and 70 FPS. Now, I am running... around 100 FPS solid. So that actually did make a fair difference. Setting everything to low... Gave me around 30 extra FPS. And yeah, it's it's staying at about 90 right now, so... Everything on low is about 30 FPS, but... Oof. Run it higher if you can. Of course you can play with the settings. And, uh... That'll help you out, but yeah. Difference of about 30 FPS. And again, this is a 1080 Ti overclocked. So, there's that. I don't know if I can edit everything here. No, I cannot. Alright, let's go back to the main menu screen. Oh, that sucks. This is, um... This isn't a game that features a lot of auto-saving and stuff like that. That doesn't matter anyway, it's a multiplayer game. But... 1080... I mean, ten, uh, 1050, I don't know. That's, that's a tough one, man. I think Steam... Um, <laughs> well, you could probably just buy it on Steam and return it if, if you just cannot play it. Uh, I don't know if that's... I, I don't know if they allow that as a reason for returns. Maybe you get, like, two of those returns a year. But you get unlimited, you know. The game is a lie. No Man's Sky launch type of returns. Alright, let's bring it back up. But... For someone that has a beefy system, this is a great PC port. It just doesn't look as good as... Like Dragon Age Inquisition does, for example, but I wasn't expecting it to. I don't think anybody is expecting it to. But it's uh, it's very stable, which is what I would want out of it. And honestly, you don't really notice that it's not the best looking game because the art style more than makes up for it. As I've said numerous times, that's what is most important here. Will I play Sea of Thieves again soon? Uh, there's supposed to be an exciting update coming before too long. I don't know when, but definitely. I like that game a lot. Head to the Wildspire Waste immediately. Actually, it's not that much of a difference. I think the biggest difference... I don't know if I can test that here, but I think the biggest difference is... Um... Volume rendering quality, which is on variable. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I think it's I Think the biggest difference for me is volume rendering quality um, In turn not FPS, but in terms of visual effects it, it makes a huge difference in adding depth to the world It feels more tactile and real instead of flat and lifeless Let's See if anybody's doing a quest Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's the Pookie Pookie Hunt. Which he's currently doing. Let's join in for a little bit. Check out some multiplayer on the PC version. He's using a katana as well. I'm gonna use ranged. I guess this guy knows what he's doing because the chat room told me to use the katana.
but volume rendering is going to make a big difference. For those of you that are... Well, it, it'll make a big difference in terms of FPS, I believe, uh, as well, from what I've read. For those of you that, that are worried about... Hold on, I've actually... Haven't seen... This is uh, the most taxing area, I believe, of the jungle. And I haven't seen it while it's raining. There's a lot of animals around here. I think I saw it dip to 50 a second ago. Weird, now it's at 80 solid. Whatever, it was probably just loading in. Um, for those of you that are worried about performance on lower tier cards, I really believe that they're going to release a performance patch for Monster Hunter World before too long, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. I may hold off on purchasing until um, un until the game releases, but it's it's probably fine. And you, you should be able to return it to Steam if it's not. That's so cool, you can see their cats. He's got a cat named Boo. Look at that. Oh, it's adorable. So this is Monster Hunter World Multiplayer on PC. I haven't played Monster Hunter World Multiplayer before, so I have no idea how to talk to this guy. And you know what? I'm stealing his kill. I'm just gonna back off. We've got some other people in here as well, I thought. Maybe it's just one other guy. He's completing a quest that I've already completed. Alright, I don't know how to do this. I don't- I guess he doesn't know how to gesture either. I know I can go in here and do it. Uh... There we go. Oh shit, I didn't mean to see you later. I meant to, uh... I meant to wave. Oh, wave means see you later. Okay, um... Greeting. There we go. It really is MMO-ish. Um, you can hotkey all of this, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Let me look at controls. Or key bindings. But that's just another reason why I would recommend playing with a keyboard, even if you're migrating from Xbox One, for instance. Melee weapons, ranged weapons, menu navigation. Alright, well, I'm assuming that there's like a... some sort of a wheel that you can use for gestures. I haven't been able to find someone else playing multiplayer until now, so this is kind of exciting. Look at Mr. Fancy Pants, he's actually killing everything in his path. When I was doing this quest, I just went after the main beast. But, I think he's actually trying to craft specific items. He's, uh, getting as many materials as he can. Well, I'm not sure how to talk to him, there's probably a... Enter, isn't it? T, isn't it? How do I talk? Maybe we need to be in the same party. Shoutouts, player list, chat. There it is. There's a chat box. Oh, that's actually really handy. Yet another reason why the PC version is going to be the version to get. There's a chat box for multiplayer. This really is just like an MMO. That's actually really cool. There's a lot to this game. You can even expand it. Can you can you move it around? I don't know if I can change the location of the chat box, but still, that's damn cool. 
Anyway, um, this has been Monster Hunter World uh, PC version. I'm going to check out one more thing before we uh, sign off. And that is, I'm going to check the performance of what I think is one of the most intensive options, volume rendering quality. Let's go to off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm at uh, around 79 to... Let's say 81. That seems to be an average. I'm at 81 FPS with uh, volume rendering off. With it on... On its highest, I'm at 63. Well, 62 is more like it, so... Yeah, that's around 20 FPS. So... It, it looks good. It looks really good, actually. Um, I think it helps the world not look flat, but if you need a lot of FPS, that is your best bet. Let me change the resolution and see uh, what kind of FPS I get at 1080p. A lot of people with lower tier graphics cards are going to be playing this game at 1080p. Not 1440p like I am. I can't change that here. That's right, I have to restart the game to change that. Shit. And I can't quit from here. That sucks. Well, give me a second. I'm going to see what it looks like at 1080p before we quit. Or see what the performance looks like at 1080p. How the hell do I leave? Oh, that's right. I can end it here, maybe? Return to game options, primary group, uh, abandoned quest. Great. Oh yeah, there's, there's resolution scaling as well. I usually don't use that. I, I it can work. Uh, I usually see it in Ubisoft games like Assassin's Creed Origins. I haven't seen it work well for me yet. I've tried it, but I, I don't like it. I don't know why. I, I just don't think it works very well. I would just rather tweak and tweak and tweak until I find a good balance between my settings. I find that that works best. But I am playing on a 144 hertz monitor with uh, with G-Sync, so it does look really smooth with um, around 70 FPS. It still makes a difference, so if you guys have a, a, a beefy rig, and if you have a, a high hertz monitor, you're not going to be running this at 144 FPS, but that 70 to 80 FPS still makes a big difference over 60 FPS, especially if you have G-Sync or FreeSync. So, not all is lost. If, uh, if you're looking for high FPS with a game like this. Alright, let's test out 1080p. And we gotta restart the game. So, once again, for the 16th time, I think it is. My rig is uh, 7900X, overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz, um, an Aorus Extreme GTX 1080 Ti, overclocked, um, 32 gigabytes of fast RAM, and I have this game installed on an NVMe M2 drive. And we'll see how it performs at 1080p. I'm going to have everything at maximum settings for this test. I know this isn't going to help those of you with like a 1050 too much, but I'm curious to see what kind of, uh, what kind of performance I can pull from a 1080 Ti at 1080p because uh, I'm actually getting less performance in this game at 2K than I am in games needed. like Battlefield 1. I, obviously, that's not an open-world game, but I get more performance out of something like The Witcher. So, I'm getting around 92 FPS as an average, which isn't bad. Uh, it's, it's going up to 100. In fact, right now I'm at... Uh, no, 92 FPS is the average, actually. But... 
I would say that this game's uh, performance is more taxing than would be expected, so I would expect at some point in the near future we're going to have a performance patch that's going to raise the performance of the game, but we'll see. Fingers crossed on that. In any case, I think it's a wonderful port, aside from some of those FPS issues. I don't have any stuttering, I don't have any crashing, I haven't seen any graphical glitches. It's very, very stable, and... I rarely, if ever, dip below 60 FPS during normal play when I'm not live streaming, which is kind of tasking, taxing on my system to a moderate degree. But yeah, all considered, it's a great port, and I think this game plays really well with a mouse and keyboard. For those of you that haven't played, if you've played Monster Hunter, obviously your mind's already made up, but if you haven't played Monster Hunter, this is a game that's not gonna be for everybody. It's an excellent game, and they set out... They executed what they set out to do perfectly. They really did. It's... It's 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 a great game, and it's got a hell of a lot of content, but... If you've mainly played Western games, like Bethesda, Activision... To a lesser extent, Blizzard... But... It, it's going to be different than what you, uh, what you would from anything you've played before. So if you're buying it for a console, or if you have a console, rent it at Redbox first. Check it out. Give it a chance. It will take some time getting used to if you've never played anything like it. If you don't play a lot of JRPGs, um, or <laughs> games that weren't made by Western developers, play it for about uh, seven, eight hours before you uh, make up your mind. Because this is a huge game that you'll be spending a lot of time in. Um, the campaign takes around 80 to 90 hours, so that should tell you what kind of commitment you're looking at here. In any case, this has been Monster Hunter World on PC. And as a complete noob to Monster Hunter, and as a, a Western developer basic bitch, it's, it's fun. I, um, I actually enjoyed it way more than I anticipated I would. Um, I, I can see why it sold 8 million copies, but I don't know if, I don't know if I can recommend it as a blind buy, obviously, unless you're already a fan of the franchise. Regardless, it, it, it is a really good game, and it's, it's got a beautiful art style. The performance is, uh, solid if you have, uh, dependable rig. If, if you've got a 1080, no problem. If you've got a 1070, shouldn't be a problem. If you've got a 1050, you might um, not be able to run it at 60 FPS until there's a performance patch, but in any case, thank you to Capcom for sending me an early copy of the PC version, and if you guys are uh, following my channel, I'll be live streaming some more Star Citizen fairly soon. I think there's an update that's going to be releasing within uh, the next month. And I've got some very exciting stuff I'm going to be bringing back from Gamescom. Some exclusive footage that I'm really hyped about. But yeah, stay tuned for that exclusive Gamescom footage. I can't talk about what games those are yet, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can be more open about it. But there's some pretty strict NDAs. In any case, um, yeah, really exciting stuff from Gamecom soon. But until then, thank you guys for joining me for Monster Hunter World on PC. The game releases on PC August 9th, and it can be bought on Steam. I don't know if it's on GOG. I don't think it's on GOG, but it's it's on Steam. In any case, uh, take care, guys. And until next time, game massively.